My name is Killian. Um, I'm from Bellevue East. Hip hip. <laughs> My poem is uh, called Blaze. A dry spring comes first, with barely enough water to sustain the land. As the summer creeps closer, the rain comes less and less, and the grass gets drier and drier. The parched soil and wilted flowers beg for water, but there is no prevail. Their only hope is a lonely cloud in a sea of blue. Summer finally arrives, and the land is still crying. But while the sun is sleeping and the moon is on duty, a pack of storm clouds find their way to the grassland. Finding the land suffering disheartening, they brew a storm in hopes of quenching the grassland's strong thirst. But the hot air of the air only allows them to form a dry storm. As anybody could predict, lightning begins to sink across the sky, illuminating the night in its wake. The rolling thunder announces more lightning before the land is finally struck. The surrounding grass bursts into flames, letting a final cry before they crackle. The fire devours its host, transforming the grass into ash and embers. The flames dance around in the grass and goldenrod, leaving the land scarred. Wind fans the blooming blaze and sweeps the embers across the soft hills. While some die out, many of them find a new host. And for all you can see, junipers, brushes, uh, sedges, liatris, and the other, hundreds of other botanicals that call this place home light up like stars. Smoke and ash smother the land in a coat of char. Grouse and bobolinks flee the vicinity, calling for others to do the same. The wingless try to outrun the fire's wrath. Many will make it, but others will end up surrendering. Their sounds of fear are faint compared to the crackling of the fires. The blaze continues, eating everything in its path, and, but with time it dies down, losing its energy and momentum. The flames now feeble, they tire of their breath and cease, while the last of the smoke and ash settles on the ground. It seems to be the end of the grassland, but new shoots speak out, peek out of the ash who had hid as rhizomes and tubers underground. Some seeds and shrubs are fire resistant, allowing them to continue on with their lives. Other seeds relied on the fire to germinate, needing it to breathe life into them. Others flew in from faraway lands. With the vegetation back, the animals came back. The birds returned, bringing their songs and seeds of the grassland back with them. Animals, reptiles, amphibians, and insects returned too, helping heal and regrow the grassland. The land is no longer desolate, and it feels like the home it is. And with devastation comes reconstruction, and with death comes rebirth. The grassland knows that the best. <laughs>